the greatest rescues in the annals of the sea. Men saved from the sunken submarine Squalus off Portsmouth, New Hampshire. There's the rescue ship Falcon with derricks, masses of equipment, and the diving bell rescue chamber. The submarine Sculpin found a buoy indicating the sinking of the Squalus. The rescue chamber aboard the Falcon, ready to be lowered to the submarine, which lies on the bottom in water 240 feet deep. Its position is marked by that buoy, which is a guide to the diver. He descends to work with the rescue chamber when it is lowered. Deep in the sea there, 33 men are alive, in danger of dying for lack of air. 26 perished when the squalus sunk. Get the living out is the cry as down goes the diver. The crew of the rescue chamber climb in for their risky adventure. Never before has a diving bell like that been used for actual rescue. Will it work? And at that depth, the idea is to lower it onto the sunken sub, make it fast to a hatch, open the hatch, and bring the survivors up into the rescue chamber. So beneath the surface it sinks, for life saving without precedent. The weight, the suspense. Aboard the rescue fleet, they can only hope. Are survivors right now climbing into that life-saving apparatus? The diver comes up. What's the word? Pull up the rescue chamber. There it is, bubbling and breaking the water. The dramatic sight, sudden appearance of the diving bell. This occurs a little more than 24 hours after the United States submarine Squalus sank while making a practice dive off Portsmouth. A valve failed to work, and water poured in. Men trapped in the sunken coffin. All the rescue power of the Navy mobilized. And here's the climax, the rescue chamber coming up from its first descent. Hoist it up, what's in it? There are anxious wives and families waiting tensely. Open it up, and then out they climb, survivors. The first one, so weak he has to be helped after being entombed for 24 hours at the bottom of the sea. One after another, Seven in all are brought up in this first trip of the rescue chamber. It will take four trips in all before the 33 survivors are brought safely to the surface. This scene repeated four times over a period of 12 hours, but the rescue is achieved. Every one of the living brought out alive. In the history of the sea, a sunken submarine represents the depth